Yo, 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 what's up? It's Light. This is going to be the last run, like, not just uncut run, but the last run that I do uh, for before for prepping for my Lalo tier list. I think I've got it all complete, but I just want to do this one run to make sure that my list looks good. Uh, we're going to be running a gradual improvement build here, um, and uh, we'll see if I can get some spicy stuff going. Uh, gradual improvement is an incredibly good blessing. Um, and uh, I think we'll be able to take good advantage of it. As a little pit stop here, a uh, patch came out that's like like buffed Lee, who's like already was the strongest character in the game. Although they did buff all the other ways to play her. So now not only is she strong with her like main ability, but now she's strong with all of her other abilities. Um, so it'll be interesting because I think everyone voted for Lee to be the next like tier list and like I feel like you can't choose a wrong direction with that character um, and I was really surprised that people chose that uh, as the one that they like wanted a tier list about because but I, I think I can really break the character so if you really want to crank Lee to the next level we're going to figure out how to do that uh, that being said we're going to be cranking Lay Low to the next level in this one um, and I want a very specific Gifted man talent, and then we got a roll for gradual improvement, and we are off to the races. And I haven't played in a couple of days, so I need to warm up real quick, otherwise I'm going to be worse than I normally am. Alright, it's not bad. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, this is probably the best one here. That's not great. Now, obviously, I'm getting literally no benefit from my blessing currently. Because it's all about critting, right? So, uh, this build, I mean, this particular weapon is not good long term. But it's fine just because it's good early. There's a lot of, uh, lightning shield as opposed to armor early game. Uh, so lightning weapons, I would say, have a tendency to do pretty well right at the very start. Um, and, uh, the high movement speed and stuff, uh, is really easy for someone like me to, who knows the, the, the enemy's movements really well, to just kind of weave in and out of them without it being a big problem. And it takes care of those guys really quick. Okay, let me just check my list here. I'm not going to show you the list, because it's not complete yet. Alright, I know you want to see it, but I just want to make sure I'm picking according to what I'm telling you guys to pick. So I pick a Storm, Storm Blast there. Is that what it's called? Storm Blast? Yeah. I want my Fatal Current to be really, really good. And if I'm not mistaken, the way that uh, Flowing Light works is that all the hits of the secondary fire will get the benefit of Storm Blast. Uh, so uh, Flowing Light is one of the better weapons on this character. Alright, uh, that is a usable weapon. Love to see that. Turns out this weapon can crit, so it turns out to be okay with this uh, spiritual blessing that I'm currently using. So now we're up to 15 stacks. So we've got 4.5 crit X, which is essentially around doubling our crit damage with this weapon, which is quite good, obviously. I'm so glad that 
I mean, I'm glad in the sense for this game right now, you know, playing rather casually, uh, that, uh, ouch. Whoops. Uh, I'm glad that missing shots doesn't reduce your uh, gradual improvement. So, uh, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, here, I'm pretty sure we're taking Lightning from the Void, which makes sense, right? Lightning from the Void would be great because we have such a high credit chance, uh, you know, that we're going to have a really high chance of uh, shooting lightning bolts. There's nothing wrong with taking that. One thing that's important to remember, like, so, like, this weapon, it's kind of easy to accidentally use all of your, uh, uh, all of your, what am I trying to say? It's, it's easy to reduce your gradual improvement by missing a lot, but it's also really easy with weapons that shoot fast to build it up really quickly as well. So, I think, uh, some people have, like, a little bit of a, maybe, it might be a misconception, it might not be a misconception, um, about, you know, like, maybe the best way to... That, like, you sort of, like, always need to be... I'm not being very eloquent. But you always need to be hitting crits for this thing to work. But that's not the case. You really just need to be able to hit a lot of crits. Um, so you can build it up. Uh, Glaze Sight is really bad for us, actually. Because we already have a lot of crit X, more crit X is a very meaningless increase. Um, it's really not super great for us. Uh, this is not terrible, um, uh, but uh, I would really need to spend a lot of my money for this to be effective. Um, it's something I'm considering, but abnormal speed is so solid that uh, I think I, I really want to pick that up. Uh, if I didn't have a good third option there, I would have probably heavily considered basically building my run around extravagant consumption, but luckily we don't need to. we got something better. Um, let's go here first. Max shield, give it to me. Apparently, that's you drink a magic potion to get that. Um, and now let's see if we can find something that's really good for what we're doing here. This aura venom is great. Love lucky shot. Can't go wrong there. Tactical reload really works well with the current weapon we're using. So I'll get that. Uh, this is what we're looking for. A pupil will be really, really great for us. So let's take that. Ow. Stop moving around so much. You guys are crazy. I can feel like I am so out of practice, or rather I haven't been playing as much. Uh, my uh, snap judgment, or like my snap hits are not getting as good. But I think I would hit that most of the time. Although you guys know me, I'm not like the best FPS player by any means. But this lightning from the void is paying off really well. And it's cool to use lightning from the void uh, with a weapon that really is not very well known for this type of uh, type of build. Like normally for me to use a pupil with lightning from the void, I'd have to do like a crit Gemini. Stormblast 2 is almost certainly the pick here. Hypercurrent's really not what we're looking for. Shadow Knight's fine. Hypercurrent is just like not enough damage to really be worth it. I realize now that I don't have hypercurrent on my list, so I can fix that. This is why we do that. You know, you can't just you can't just throw something to the wind. You know, I think like the whole point about these actually useful tier lists is that I try to really make sure that the information I am giving you is fairly reputable, um, because I, I know what it feels like to be given kind of bad information, and it sucks. It's not fun. Now, another weapon that's interesting is laser gloves. It's really not what I'm going for this particular build, uh, but it is interesting. 
that 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 weapon can work very well, especially on bosses. So this elemental relic is incredible. Lucky shot on a hell is great. I really don't want a woodpecker though. Uh, this doesn't have. I really would only want to take a hell that had plus accuracy inscription though, uh, but I would take it, uh, especially one with lucky shot. Nope, nope. Mm. Talisman's not bad. And accuracy, if I understand correctly, accuracy does make them the tracking better on the on the talisman. I could be wrong about that though, so take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, but none of this seems like it would be worth playing with. Everything I have is better. And we'll talk about why that is more. But pupil, I would say, is probably like A tier weapon for this build. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll be trying to use a, an S tier weapon by the end of the run. Wasn't that cloning? Did I like miss that? Oh lord. Okay. Wow. That was unique. My aim is so weak right now. It's okay, we're making it work, we're making it work. So one thing to notice, all right, about uh, gradual improvement here is that it'll give you a stack from like a shotgun blast as long as one shot crits. Now, I'm not really exactly sure if it's like, if it has to be like the first shot that hits, right? It, it's conceivable that like, if the pellets fly out you know, a little bit scattered, and the first one that hits is a crit, then it then it counts or doesn't count. Um, but I I think that the way that I feel like it works uh, from playing is that uh, as long as one of them crits, then it counts the whole shot as critting for the purposes of gradual improvement stacking here. Right? Uh, don't need that. That's fine. That's great. Lucky shot turns out to be uh, very very important when you're stacking any crit X. One of the best ways to do uh, big old deeps. And I do think I'll go ahead and buy a bun here. I think I have one more run before I, one more room before I get to... Oh, and I probably don't need to be charging my thing. I have accuracy, right? Yeah, so I've actually got already accuracy on this, on this weapon. So I don't have to charge as much. That'll probably help me with my aiming a little bit. go. Look at the lag there. Watching my mini map, I knew no one was coming around me. No problem. Uh, do we want money or do we want scrolls? It's always a tough choice. Um, money is really, really important on weapon-based builds, you know. Um, I'll think about it here while I go look at what this is. Sniper, really don't want to use a sniper with this build. Really not super useful. And since, I mean, so like maybe you're questioning like, well, if you're stacking critics, snipers have critics, you know, like why wouldn't I want to do that, right? Okay, so... Let's, let's think about it like this. Here, if I switch these. Okay, so now I've got a, I've got a 3x weapon, right? And gradual improvement gives me 9 crit x once it's fully loaded, right? So this is at like 12, right? And when I go to my pupil, 
I've got 11, but 12x. Okay, so the whole idea here is if I go from 3x, 3x to 12x, that's a four times damage increase, right? Three times four equals 12, okay? But if I have like a 2x uh, weapon, uh, the crit X, the game has balanced the critical, the crit damage around the weapon's base damage. So weapons that have a low crit often have high base damage. So going from a two times crit to a 12 times crit is a six times increase in damage. All right. And so oh, even a weapon that's not like super, super strong, even if it doesn't have the best inscriptions, gradual improvement can really crank it into the S tier because it's basically giving you a 600% multiplicative damage increase if you can keep the stacks up. Um, something like Pupil does great because it really synergizes with it. It's, a, it's got a three times crit. It's a shotgun and shotguns have a lot of pellets. So if you can hit all the pellets with like accuracy, Pupil's already got that built in accuracy, of course. But you know, if you can hit all the shots, then it works great. Um, uh, so you know, that's why I'm not picking a sniper because a sniper goes from 4x to uh, 13x, which is like a three times damage increase, um, which is really not what we're looking for. Let's go for a scroll. Extra surprise is not super helpful. And we lost all the HP for it. I regret it. Just gotta not die here. We're trying to play safe here. Pretty easy to die. Oh yeah, I don't have to charge up. Oh, two of you. One person behind. Easy peasy. What do we get? Well, this is pretty good. But it's almost never time to use Star Devourer. Like, almost never. I have the Storm, only works with snipers. We really don't really, really don't want that. Electric Circuit is fine, but nothing we're super excited about. Maybe one level is okay, but I mean, even then, I'm really not excited. The first level, Tessa Coil is okay, you know, because say we get some synergy with this Lightning from the Void, uh, like. Uh, the one that gives uh, shield and max shield. So we're going to take the first level of Tesla coil here just to increase our number of bounces. Um, and that's just to make lightning from the void a little bit better. Oh, we got a boss here. I've got the decay. I don't have the piercing. So we'll see if, uh, if we can... Oh, we can fight this for sure. The, the biggest problem about this boss is that you can't crit on them very easily. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can just spam my asthma. Oh god. Whoo! Uh-oh. Close. I don't know what happened there. Maybe the boss is corros corrosive and I was playing silly and didn't notice. Uh, let's load up our weapons here. All right, back into the fray. Gotta love my asthma. Oh, I think I, ac I actually crit him. Whoops. All right. Uh, pretty easy. A little my asthma abuse right there. No problem. Uh, this weapon would probably be fun with this uh, 
uh, blessing, but recognize I've lost all my uh, blessing stacks on that particular hero. So one of the things that like, if you if you're if you are like playing the sniper version of this as well, this is another reason that I don't like snipers with gradual improvement is that it's going to take me like till uh, Timbuktu, you know, or the second coming for me to get all these stacks back, right? So this whole time I'll be playing, you know, without being able to get these stacks. Uh, terrific crossfire is pretty good. Explosive bullet is pretty good, depending on the weapon we're using. Mmm. It's kind of fun. It also uh, has that uh, uh, traditional tactic, which would get me that traditional tactic set up. I'm kind of into that. Because uh, the weapons I probably will end up using are not elemental. Like, I think all the S-tier weapons for this build are... Are not L yeah they're not okay so yeah let's let's go let's go let's go plus eighty percent damage all right let's g give me something good there are three weapons I'm looking for I haven't seen them yet long shot sure oh that's pretty fun uh, I think that's a little bit better than this and I would prefer not to abuse hey there's our boy rainbow arc. All right, um, we'll take this one. Actually, no, we'll take, we'll get rid of this one and this one, and we will keep the rainbow arch. And uh, for fun, we're gonna we're gonna give it a little pump. Okay. So why is rainbow arch good? Well, actually, this has plus one hundred percent accuracy, which is uh, great on this on this. This is gonna let me stack up stuff really quickly, and then I can use the secondary. Considering this has such a low base crit, that our secondary shots are going to be critting like mad. And we've got this traditional tactic going on. So Rainbow Arch is an S-tier weapon with gradual improvement. And I want to show you that that is the case. All right, we're max stacks. <laughs> See you later, buddy. See you later. Well, that was a great little case in point. Shrieker. Also S tier, low key, low key. Premium membership is nice. Noise Thunderbolt Converter. I love to see it. This is a great synergy with what we're already doing. It's already got we've, already, we've got this lightning from the void synergy going. Uh, we've got the Tesla coil, which means we're gonna get more bounces. And if you didn't know, Thunderbolt Converter is multiplicative, meaning that it is some chunky damage. The big problem with Thunderbolt Converter is if you're shooting fast, all right, you're only getting that Thunderbolt Converter bonus damage on like one in four shots. But if you have the same DPS and you're shooting more slowly. Thunderbolt Converter is a much bigger DPS increase. Uh, uh, we don't want this Thunder and Glory, not because it's bad, but because it, uh, like, would, if we're going to play Thunder and Glory, we should be playing a different build, right? Fake Death is obviously incredible. Um, I'm curious as to whether or not I should show... I, I think I'll, I'll skip. Um, no, I'm supposed to just... I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm caught, you know, am I just showing you guys this build or am I, you know, playing for my own enjoyment? Because my own enjoyment says, well, who needs fake death, bro? So we're, we'll do a little hybrid, a little hybrid. Maybe I'll lose, who knows? Probably not. Okay, so onward. Alright, nice. Minus 50% accuracy? Ugh, golly. Could you imagine shooting this? Look at this. <laughs> like, how are you ever supposed to effectively use this weapon? That's a joke. Get out of my sight! Uh, but our rainbow arch here is absolutely just taking, taking dumps on these guys. Told you it was S tier. Did you, did you question me? Did you? I hope you did. That means that there was more learning that was done. I, 
couldn't really tell what was going on right there. And again, this is a great weapon because in the worst case scenario, against certain enemies, I can stack this uh, crit X up easily. Very easily. In that case, I just like lost a bunch of stuff, but you know, whatever. Alright. I'm pretty sure there was a peddler back here. Uh, Thunderstorm can be pretty good. Uh, what the hell? I think I'm going to buy this just to shoot it. What am I looking at here? Okay, minus 90% speed of projectile of the lightning bolt, plus 300 base damage of the of the powered arc, and every lightning ball shot increases the powered arc damage. Oh. Interesting. So, up to four stacks. So how do you detonate it? I guess it detonates on hitting somebody? Huh, that's kind of unique. I don't know if it's any good and I'm not going to play with it, but uh, that weapon can be okay with this build. Uh, now, obviously Fire Dragon's okay, you know, if you're using this, but it's, it's, I don't think it's S tier. And it's not like... I mean, you can use it. Gradual improvement is great, right? But I'm trying to show you a specific build, okay? And Fire Dragon is not the build I'm trying to show you. Take that. Element of Bestowment, not really what I'm looking for. Snow Boots is delicious. Delicious. All right, let's go murder some people. Ah! Get away from me. You guys are so hard to crit. Alright, I've still managed to keep my... Uh, Stacks up to near 100%. And one of the unique things about this particular blessing is that you do have to crit, which does add some unique, like, interactions sometimes. Like, you know, like with the Elite Beetle. You know, it's like really, really hard to crit that that character. And so, like, you lose all your stacks and stuff. So if you haven't, if you don't have like a really thoughtful play style going on, you know, it's it, it can be sometimes hard to make this work. Um, you know, not always, but it can be. Uh, Thunder Turbo is great. Supercharge is pretty good. We already have the sort of package going. I don't really get Thunder Supercharge unless I have Lightning from the Void or if there's really nothing better at all. But Thunder Turbo is a little different. It gives us skill damage for Lightning from the Void and weapon damage, which we'll always take for a build like this. Uh, so happy to have that. We'll give a little uh, little pump up here. It doesn't cost us as much to upgrade because we have uh, premium membership, so uh, not too concerned uh, about upgrading that. <clears throat> um, large movement speed boost. Got it. Okay. Maybe there'll be something fun over here. Let's go see. Eh, you know, this one's not bad, but it's not great. Uh, this is fine. Sure. Nope. Really not the build we're going for. This is more of like a one-shot build. You know, like taking advantage of very specific weapons. Really maximizing the benefit of the crit X we're getting. And it's unique because it's not a sniper, and it's like basically like playing a sniper. Ow. Keep 
keep thinking I see cloning. And they don't clone. Alright, let's be careful here. I have a feeling I've lost some of my stacks of... Tracking tornado. I think that's my favorite part about the rainbow arch for this particular gun, is that you just have options, which I love. It's so, it feels so uncomfortable with certain weapons. Now options to miss a bunch of shots, I guess. Uh, when you're really kind of stuck in a certain type of playstyle. Uh, and I think that uh, this uh, rainbow arc build is one of the few that really utilizes this secondary shot mechanic. Um, in a useful way. Ah. I'm down to 26. So still doing pretty good. right there. So picky. All right, I think it's just me and him now. All right, come on. There we go. All right, we will take some money. Sure. Heal it right back up. And we're doing fine. Now, I probably need to start picking a weapon soon here. We're going to go ahead and take Voltaic Aegis. Supercharge is good, but it's not as good. You know, like, Supercharge is best kind of one level with this build, because we're not doing a lot of shots. Um, if we were doing more shots, I would consider um, uh, taking it. Uh, but as you can see, we're not getting, like, a, a, a ridiculous amount of uh, lightning from the void procs. Um, I am interested in keeping this thing relevant, so I'm going to give it a couple little pumps of money there. Um, and we will keep moving forward there are a couple of key ascensions that we're missing for the build to pop off as this build is pretty ascension dependent so once we get those going we will be looking pretty Okay. 
we're having to play this a bit of a specific way. We really don't have any AoE. It worked out. It worked out. We were able to just kite around. Can't always do that, but I will take it. Let's go and get all of our extra stuff here. But as you can see, this Rainbow Arch is still doing a really, really good damage. And I feel good that I pumped it a little bit. Because I think that did help it remain relevant. Because if, we if, if that had taken two more shots, which I think is a not quite the best estimate, but it would have felt a little bit scarier uh, in that fight. Like, if, if I hadn't killed him then, um, I think we would have been getting toward a, a scarier position. Uh, against the Flow is great specifically for this build. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take that. I think that... Uh, the secondary fire expends about as much ammo as I can shoot in... Uh, at least I think it'll give me a couple more shots before I have to reload, which I think will will be good. Okay. Oh, and I forget that the Rainbow Arch has a uh, natural knockback, which is pretty sweet. I'm clearly not very used to hitting that from above. There we go. 352,000, I think. I'll take that. And because it's really not super expensive for us, I'll probably pump this again. I don't plan on keeping this, but I do have the money. So. One thing I don't like about uh, against the flow, specifically with this build, is that um, the weapon skill does more damage based on how much ammo you consume. So it's kind of possible for you to consume like a small amount of ammo if you're spamming, which I don't like that. Ouch. Nice. And Fisher Bear Paw. Hmm. Effective on 15 projectiles. For every excess, you gain weapon damage. I don't know if this really negatively impacts me or not. Let's try it. And if it feels like it is, then we'll, we'll get rid of it. But I think that uh, Fatal Current will apply to both shots. So I don't think we're like losing any damage by having a Fatal Current base build. I could be wrong about that, we'll find out. I wish that Rainbow Arch consumed a percent of the magazine um, so that you could buff it by increasing your mag size. Alas, we can't get everything we want, can we?
Oh, that was not a crit, alas. A little high. I don't think I missed anything. I'll just peek, take a quick peek back. I think that's just a... Oh. Uh, I haven't seen anything better than this rainbow arch. I haven't been offered a whole lot of weapons in a minute, so... We're just kind of sticking with this for now. It's working, but... Uh, you know, I think if I had a... Oops. If I had a chance to re-roll it, I would. So there's that. Big damage. Okay, nope. Don't need that. Definitely don't want that. Maybe this? Mm, yeah. Nah, it's mostly crit damage increases, which are really not going to be worth it. There's my boy. Hexagon. Get out of your pupil. Justice. As if as if I'd ever use a justice in this build. Uh, dual edge. I really don't think we need this. We'll take it for now, and we'll just manage it by dropping it and picking it back up. Uh, Voltaic Aegis 2 is great. Uh, happy to have this bolt from the blue. Lightning Governor really don't do anything for our build. Yes. This is just going to help us be more tanky, which we desperately and always need on this character. Um, Eye of the Storm doesn't work for us. Bolt from the blue doesn't really work. But Thunder Turbo is great. More damage. More uh, skill damage, which combines with our Lightning from the Void. And now we get to see how good... Hexagon is with gradual improvement. Alright, so what do, what do we have on this thing? Okay, I mean, you know. It's looking pretty good. Oh, that's a sweet little icy spear there. Not what I'm playing, though. Wow, this is actually quite... No, 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 it has the minus accuracy. It's not good. Sure. Uh, this is fine. Do I want to keep the money instead? It's a real question. Probably get a little too close to the mic there. Sorry about that. Sure, it's it's it's. I don't need to overthink it. I've got I've got premium membership. I really don't need to overthink it. Okay, um, we'll etch this on here. Which one do we want? We really don't want crit, do we? Maybe it doesn't really matter that much. Maybe we just want like an elemental effect. Anyway, let's pump this up. I forgot who we're fighting. Either way, uh, this uh, this particular weapon should perform very well. Alright, I haven't ever done this build yet, so I'm not quite getting it figured out quite yet. Where are my stacks at? Still at 26? Okay, not, not too bad. There we go. Okay. Uh, I still didn't manage to get the crazy, crazy hit though. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can one-shot a lot of shit in this game if you get your hexagon secondary ready. Then you Fatal Current, right click, all right, and then you shoot the secondary skill at them uh, and crit with it. Uh, you will probably, I think, kill most things in the game. Uh, this uh, looks really fun too. Uh, I'll show you how Hell does with this particular blessing. Concealed ammo is not good. Elemental Magazine is fine, sure. Um, Thunder Turbo 3 is incredibly good because it gives a multiplicative crit damage increase of 40%. 
which uh, is going to skyrocket our damage. Absolutely skyrocket it. So we've got like this little extra crit combination here that doesn't mean anything, you know. Uh, like really, we want to switch those out to something else as soon as possible. High powered arc is a nice little uh, addition to what we're doing, so I'll go ahead and take that. I think ultimate gambler is really good too. Um, I'd say ultimate. Actually, I'll take. Oh wait, I'm not picking anything. Um, so ultimate gambler is great because it allows you to get exactly what you want. A uh, high powered arc extends the effectiveness of lightning from the void makes your, all your bouncing mechanics better. So I think this is spicier, so I'm going to take that. And we're going to do a little bit more uh, little bit more work with this uh, hexagon here. Maybe I can get off a shot. All right. All right. Nice. Ah, that is dirty, man. That is really good. That's pretty fun. Um, what do we want to do here, though? We don't want this. I mean, that's fine, right? Sure. I think I like that. I like, I like it better, at least, in the crit. The crit is probably less helpful than 25% rate of fire. The 25% rate of fire will get us to be able to shoot our secondary uh, skill faster. Replace all normal inscriptions with rare inscriptions. That is not necessarily going to be better, especially on this one here. Or luxurious gift box, or reroll all. I do like this... Uh, Am I, am I married to any of these green? The rate of fire after killing an enemy is cool. The magazine capacity is fine. Let's, let's, let's go for it. Elites and bosses, lightning damage, sure. This looks fun. And now I can go for an elemental effect, Gemini, if I want to. Dang it. Alright, I was trying to get a little too clever there. Just need to kill him. Okay, and I don't think I, I really like taking this extra damage. My damage is already insane. I really don't need to take any risks there. Well, I wonder if spores would be any good. Hard to tell. Really, like the spores would only be good when I'm doing the rapid fire hits. And I don't think spores get any bonus damage from critting, if I'm not mistaken. Can't remember. Lightless shield. Uh, lightless shield is great. Um, sucker punch is pretty good for what we're doing, but I think lightless shield is going to be the best one. Um, unfortunate that I misplayed that. I was really just trying to get the one shot instead of like playing, you know, like optimally. So hopefully that doesn't come back to hurt me uh, in the end here. Um, and the main thing we're really kind of missing right now to really pop off is Magical Supply. Yeah, because the whole point of this is a one-shot build, right? Um, now, granted...
Nice. Alright, sure, whatever. The one big downside that I see with using Hexagon specifically with this build, um, while I think the damage is literally insane, um, I think that the uh, sort of one-shot part of it really only works against, like, bosses. Um, you like, like, you're never going to be able to combine a couple shots in a row uh, of the secondary uh, fire. And maybe it would have been better if I didn't re-roll it so I could keep that 50% increase. But I, I think maybe, like, the idea here is, like, Hexagon's good as, like, a secondary weapon. Because I can maybe try, like, I'll show you how, like, Hell does in this particular thing. I actually need to... Oh. Hold on. Let's chill out. I'm reloading. It's kind of nice, actually. Alright. Sweet. We're reloaded. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is actually performing a lot better. So I don't know if Hexagon, like, as much as I think it has, like, some cool tech with this build, like, this seems, like, a lot stronger, doesn't it? And I was including this in, like, the B tier. But I've been able to, like, easily stack up. I'm doing crazy damage. And if I had Magical Supply, I would actually be able to sort of utilize it for the most part. Whereas Hexagon really can't do that. Although I think that Hexagon's kind of, like, definitely deserves the spot here, though. I just don't know if it's quite, like, S tier. We'll have to keep trying to play with it. Stormblast. Love to see it. Oh, a frenzied shark! Oh! How's that? How's that? Sometimes, one of the weirdest things about, like... You know, trying to talk through the whole game is you just, like, you don't get time to think about what you're doing before you do it. So sometimes shit gets kind of weird. And that does a lot of damage, right? How much more damage is it doing than this? Kind of hard to tell. There's a lot of numbers on the screen. You are hard to hit. I will say that that even the the point and click damage is very high. I mean, I, I kind of like it just for its like uh, boss killing mechanics, right? Uh, I think I'm gonna kind of upgrade both of these though. I don't think the lightning damage helps very much though. Like, let's just really try to insta kill this boss. Let's see if we can. Keep my stacks up here. Really trying not to reduce my stacks, so being extra careful. Oh, I didn't hit him. Great. So, I mean, that's pretty good. But is, is it better than that? I don't know if it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to knock that one down. I mean, I think it's cool. It's unique, but it doesn't actually fit the fundamental, like, point of this build, which is to, to kind of do one-shots. Like, you wouldn't be able to use Magical Supply with it. It's the biggest deal. Like, the biggest downside, right? Uh, flowing wind looks good. Bullet bank's pretty unnecessary. Um, yeah, I think I'll take the flowing wind. It's just a free 20% damage reduction. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Let's etch it. Sure. Um, does more damage to enemies than elemental. Alright, well. Okay. 
Low special ammo. I don't know about that. I got healed. He has the high ground. It's too much. Foolish decision. Okay. Alright, everything's peachy. And I am liking the hell better. I, I think it's actually... and is I, The main thing is you need this accuracy. And this one actually has double accuracy, which is a bit unique. Let's see what the spread is on this. That is not a lot of spread. Uh, that's pretty sweet. A legendary scroll... Or we got airbag. Is that good? I think I think it's fine. I don't think we have any lack of synergy with that. See if I had magical supply right there. There'd be a lot more dead enemies all of a sudden. I could have swore that said cloning. Am I just like misreading that? Maybe it said corrosive. I, I did kill it. Yeah, that's probably what's going on. Oh, hello. This is actually kind of nice and relaxing. This hell is absolutely slapping. It's doing a lot of damage. And I mean, it doesn't have anything special besides the accuracy, right? That's the biggest thing it has. And I, if you, you've seen me talk about shotguns, you know that I already think that's the, the bee's knees here. So Voltaic AS3 is mostly a guaranteed win in any game. So, you know, let's show it off. Interesting that that, like, uh, counted as a crit because of wait for good, even though they were shielded. Maybe it's not wait for good. Like, I, I am hitting a crit, even though if they're shielded, they're not taking any damage. It's still a crit. That's probably what's going on. Bloody ammo is worth 88 gold. Uh, fire enthusiast. No thanks. Is this good? Oh, I was hoping it'd be good. It's not. Sure. That one's fine. Alas. Would have been cool to get something spicy. Alright, I'm still at max charges of gradual improvement. My biggest, like, from my own personal play style, you know, not this build. Like, the biggest problem I have with gradual improvement is really not very punishing. 
Uh, like, it's pretty easy to keep full stacks of going, like, the whole game. Um, let's switch here. This is my jam for the rest of the, the time I'm, I'm doing this. Elite gathering. Well, see, now I can use this. <laughs> we gotta do that again. We gotta do that again. Alright, alright, alright. Come on. Bring it on, you punk. See ya. That's pretty sweet. Alright, and that's all thanks to Gradual Improvement. So, I think it deserves to be on the list as an honorable mention. Uh, it just doesn't quite uh, fit the build. Give me what I want, not this stuff. Electric Circuit is the best pick out of those. It's uh, in the low tier category. Something I prefer to avoid. All, frankly. Alright, so I'm so powerful. Usually at this point of the game, I don't go in those... Uh, in these things, if they're not like a boss, it's just gonna be like one scroll, and like I'm just not that interested in that. I don't need any money. I don't need any scrolls. I'm already winning. Yeah. Grad Voltaegus, Aegis, Voltaegus three. Come on. Sure. Um. So I, what was I? I could switch. I could get an elemental share on this. Like, this would be fine, right? Uh, but then I wouldn't have Hexagon against bosses. Pump, pump, pump. Let's go. Bump, 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 bump. Ouch. Alright, I deserve that. Ah. Did I almost kill him right there? I think I might have. Oh, this weapon is fun. I, I, I do want to try a golden bow with that particular inscription. Oh, this one's cool. And piercing? Oh my gosh. So this is a really unique weapon here. I'm just going to show you. But, uh, oh, I don't know if we can see it here. So because this has piercing, right? Um, even, w like, like, oh, I would love to use this weapon, but we're not going to. Um, or maybe we will. Mm. But anyway... If I place this on a boss, and then that on a boss, and then that on a boss, it will hit six times per bullet, right? Because it pierces each time, and it goes through all three. And I could be wrong about maybe the mechanics, like maybe it only pierces once, so it's four hits. But like that's the idea with this particular uh, Dragon Chaser. This would be uh, very, very good with uh, this build. Uh, but it's well, it would be very good with gradual improvement. That's not this build. This build is like a one-hit um uh, gradual improvement build um, so not really the exact same thing uh, but uh, really really cool thank you let's go win the game let's go end this I don't need you I don't even care I don't I don't even want to know what you have I'm just gonna go end this so okay how did you not die in one hit I'm actually upset all right maybe I maybe I got too excited I just wasn't hitting crits. Ugh. Okay. 
Screw you guys. Wow, the range. I'm impressed. Yeah, I think I'm just not getting quite uh, ideal shots. It's really the only thing that's going on. Um, get a curse and replace a random... Mm. I just don't want to... Well, I've got two accuracy, so I'm actually in a really good position to... I lost an accuracy, but I gained the 30% projectiles. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. Armor Breaker would be so cool to get. Giant Slayer Berserk Soul. Yeah. Alright, let's go murder this boss. Yes. So normally my nothing better stuff is actually uh, the uh, kills while you don't have... Man, all these shriekers very, very good with this build, but I haven't found any good shriekers. Nothing. Really, you're looking for the increased AoE. It's like the best thing you can get on a shrieker with this build, because when shrieker's initial hit crits, all the things that it hits crit as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, don't need that anti synergy. This is perfect. Because I have airbag. What is this doing? Oh, 18% move speed. The higher the total max speed. Oh, okay. Alright, well, those guys are dead. You're dead. Any other bad guys? Uh, oh, it's not bad, but it's not upgraded plus 12, so. Who's gonna use it? And it doesn't have plus 30% projectiles, come on. So, I mean, I think this, I think this kind of shows, you know, the build. Like, we don't really even have to win at this point. It is pretty obvious to anyone that this build is pretty good and it gets even crazier when you actually have uh, I'll go through it here and after the screen when I have a little bit more mental space to say words man that is a powerful mother trucker
<laughs> Why did that do zero damage? Alright. That was weird. Maybe I just missed and it, like one pellet or something hit him. Alright. Okay, what I was saying, I don't remember at all what I was talking about. I remember that I was supposed to explain something. Oh, yeah. Um, this, Voltage Surge, is a multiplicative damage increase that we're currently missing. Shadow Knight's fine. Nothing special. Um, more levels and Thunderbolt Converter is another multiplicative damage boost we're missing. We're also missing some Supercharge. But I think the biggest thing we're missing for our damage to, to go up another notch is Voltage Surge here. So Voltage Surge. Oh, I'm not even going to take that. Worthless. Now, you don't have to play a one-shot build with gradual improvement. There are a couple other builds you can play. This is just a, a good one. And I think it's, it's kind of unique to play the one-shot uh, magical supply build with a non-sniper. It really is very fun to do this. I think another thing we're actually missing is uh, Heart of Battle is actually legit on these types of builds. Because uh, you can only keep Magical Supply going for so long. And then while it's down, it kind of sucks. Okay. Patience. Patience from Zoe. I don't know about any of you guys, but the uh, the internationalist here is pretty good. Watched a little bit of it. I don't I don't really have time to watch any live. It just takes so long. But I watch them on New from UA. Uh, and uh, the games this year were good. All right, chill out, dude. Goodbye. Gotta watch my mini map. I really don't know where they are. Unless I'm watching my mini map. There you go. See ya. It's so cool with this high accuracy how you can snipe people with a with a hell and insta kill them. Although I don't have the double accuracy, so my spread's a lot worse. Sure. That's not that good. Rich's privileges used to be better when it would got it got bonuses from like stuff like what skill damage and stuff, but it doesn't get that. Uh. Okay. Uh. Nope. 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 Argus is pretty good with this build. We can we can try it out just a little bit here. See what it feels like. Lone Ranger's great. Also, Sunder can be quite good. So like how how much damage are we doing? Yeah. So like pretty good. And this one is not pumped up, right? So like obviously you can see like that's doing pretty good. So Argus is another uh, good weapon for this build. Um, I think. Oh, this would actually be pretty good, the Sunder, but. This hell is just, just... I just don't get to use hell enough. That's really what it is. Oh, I didn't hit the headshot. Alas. And you should not underestimate the damage that Thunderbolt Converter is doing right now. I mean, it at, it is a lot of multiplicative damage. Like, this is basically doubling my damage if I have three hits. Okay, I need to get to high ground quickly. Otherwise, this guy's going to be a total butt. Yeah, 
Yeah, stay up there, you stupid son of a bitch. Get away from me. I don't know what you're shooting at. struggle against this guy, this is how you do him. Oh gosh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, no, 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 that was dumb, that was dumb, that was dumb. No! <sighs> okay, that is how you do him, but then you don't just face check him when he has a flamethrower, alright? You gotta stay in the mid-range, that way you can back out. Okay, and I know that. I know that. But, I didn't act like I knew it. Um... Uh, so I got some kind of weird 7,500,000 damage hit. I don't know why it's that number specifically. We had only one spiritual link, and we skipped some opportunities for better stuff. But I think that was a good showing of the build um, and some of the cool things that you can do with uh, gradual improvement. And that was a fun run. Um, and I think I did a okay job balancing my own fun and uh, showing the build off. So... Uh, give Hexagon a shot specifically. Very fun. I think Hell's really fun. Shrieker, um, Pupil. All these are so fun to do. This gradual improvement, one-shot magical supply build where you're not using a sniper, but you're doing sniper things. Um, it's super fun and satisfying. Um, and the big thing that I didn't get was Voltage Surge, which is another way that you scale up multiplicatively. Uh, and uh, that's a big deal. I was fortunate enough to get the level 3 uh, Turbo whatever it's called, um, Thunder Turbo, and that's a multiplicative damage boost as well. Um, so, and don't don't sleep on Thunderbolt Converter either. That multiplicative damage boost is a big deal because the whole thing is we're shooting not a lot of shots. So when you're not shooting as much, that Thunderbolt Converter is a lot better. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. And uh, next time you see me, it will be a lay low tier list. See you later. Bye.